What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, I wanted to do this review for so long, and I'm finally about to do it. Um, Generations, The Legacy, 29, episode 44. I love Generations. It's a South African soapy. I love it. It's like one of the best shows on YouTube, like one of the best so, uh, soaps, especially since it's from South Africa. I freaking love it. It's been around for some years. It's one of the best. Like I watch this every day. It comes on Monday through Friday. You, if, For those who haven't seen it, you can go on YouTube, type in Generations The Legacy. It'll pop right up. It's a great show. It's easy to get into. It's great. Like it's The drama up here is just as intense as American soaps. Like it's probably even more intense you get more you know it's more bang you know um so anyway getting into this episode i freaking love it um lucy and cosmo are not playing like they have been loyal to Gaddafi for years like very loyal very very loyal but once Gaddafi okayed the beat down on cosmo that put him in a hospital and put him in a coma like all bets are now off. Like Cosmo and Lucy are not having it. You know, now Cosmo got the goods on Gaddafi. Basically, Gaddafi put the ghost in prison. The ghost was one of the big time drug dealers. And he set him up, had him put in prison. So Cosmo has that information now. And Cosmo is basically threatening Gaddafi to have his drug dealers and stuff to get out of Alex, the township. Or he will go to the ghost and let the ghost know in prison that Gaddafi was the one who set him up, which, you know, the ghost, even though he's in prison, he could still get to Gaddafi even from behind prison walls. I mean, the man is still running his drug empire from prison. Uh, he's still running his operation from behind prison walls. So he definitely has a far out reach. Um, and they know that a war between Gaddafi and the ghost would get messy, very messy. They know this and they know that's what Kumkani don't want. Um, so they got the leverage right now. And when they went to confront Gaddafi about this leverage, he was pissed. You know, he was pissed. He was like, so y'all came up in my house and going to sit here and threaten me. He was pissed. And Lucy was backing Cosmo up. He was even more pissed about that. And, you know, Lucy basically told Cosmo, she was like, she thought that Gaddafi was going to pull a gun out on him. But, you know, Cosmo was like, nah, he ain't going to do that. I feel like Cosmo is over. He's overestimating his leverage. He's definitely overestimating it. And he's underestimating Gaddafi. Like you've worked for this man for years. You know him. You know, he always has an ace up his damn sleeve. Like, you know this. So, you know, he's not going down easy. and He's not going to just let you blackmail him. He's not going to let it happen. You know what I mean? I hate to see this because, I, like I said, I've been watching Generations for some time. And to see Lucy and Cosmo go up against Gaddafi, that shit breaks my heart. Because <laughs> like, they've been so close. Like, they go way back. So to see them go at each other, I'm like, damn. But Lucy been warning Cosmo, though. Going up against Gaddafi, like, that ain't no joke. Like, going up against him is not going to be easy, and it is no joke. And I feel like Cosmo is overestimating his leverage. Lucy warned him from the start, like, yo, you might want to back this out because, you know, going up against him is not going to be easy. Like, they know how Gaddafi is. Even Tao, you know, Tao tried to talk to Gaddafi about it. Like, he tried to, you know, get Gaddafi to back off of this because he was asking Gaddafi, like, are you going to kill Lucy and Cosmo? Because he was like, you and the Dialis, y'all go back a long ways. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, for Gaddafi, it's not about money. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he has other operations besides selling drugs, but it's not about the money. It's about the respect. You know, Cosmo worked, for, you know, for him for years. They were friends. You know what I'm saying? And he feels disrespected. Like here, this man is my friend decided not to work for me anymore, which was cool. Um, Like he feels like Cosmo basically turned against him and waged a war against him. I understand where Cosmo is coming from as far as like the war on drugs, because, yeah, it's a little hypocritical of Cosmo because he was a drug dealer. But recently what changed him was when he was, you know, he quit the business months ago. But what changed him and made him really go up against Gaddafi and the rest of the dealers were 
when that they were at Marexa's lounge and that, that girl, that teenage girl, I think she was 16 and she died of a drug overdose in their arms. And he watched that young girl die of a drug overdose. That's what made him turn against drugs and the dealers. So Gaddafi was pissed about that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're now messing with his business and he feels like you're disrespecting him. Now you come into his home, threaten him, you know, and think that you're going to get away with it. Gaddafi feels like it's it's about respect and he feels like Cosmo is disloyal now. That's how he feels. And he feels like, you know, it's going to make him look soft in the public. You know, like people around him are going to think that he's soft if he let Cosmo and Lucy threaten him, blackmail him and run him out of town. He feels like, yeah, it's going to make me look like a punk. It's going to make me look soft. And I'm not about to let that happen. But, you know, he was like, I'm not about to let some former sidekick of mine boss me around. He said, I'm not about to let that go down. So a lot of it is about respect and public image. You know what I'm saying? When you're a gangster and stuff, you're definitely not trying to be punked by somebody who used to, you know, be an errand boy or whatever. Like you're not. No, mm -mm. no nope. reputation is at stake. Livelihood is at stake. You know what I mean? Tao just kept trying to tell him, like, you really going to kill Lucy and Cosmo? Like, you know how go-go flow is. You know, you're going to take her two kids away from her, you know? And of course, you know, that's I don't think that's what Gaddafi wants. He didn't want it to come down to this. You can see it all over his face. So he's trying to handle it another way. So he got Mavasana. He got him to, you know, keep tabs on the ghost in prison and stuff. You know, his movements, what he's up to. He's doing this so that way he could take away Cosmo and Lucy's leverage. So what he found out from Movasana was that the ghost is still running his operation out of prison and he made some enemies in prison. So that's going to work in Gaddafi's favor because more than likely he probably going to get those enemies to kill the ghost. So if the ghost dies or whatever, obviously that takes away Cosmo's leverage. That hints what I said earlier, like Cosmo's overestimating his leverage, like you need to come up with something else <laughs> and quickly. Um, and he also, Gaddafi also told Movasana, do not make a move against the Dialis. Don't make a move against Lucy, Cosmo, nobody in their family until I tell you to. But I don't trust Movasana. Like, I really don't trust him. Like He's scared of Gaddafi, but I don't trust him because he's a hothead and he's stupid. <laughs> so, you know, tell him what he going to do with his ignorant behind. Um, so anyway, moving on from that. <sighs> I am getting so tired of the Maracas bullying Jera around. Like, it's getting so annoying. Mazwi, um, Great Uncle Kabasi, um, Smanga, they just keep bossing him around when it comes to Benelli. Because, you know, he went behind their back and talked to one of their clients about putting Benelli in, in her ad campaign. Um, and they were pissed about it. Mazwi was incensed like he was very upset about it and he basically took Jera off the account and of course Jera was pissed about it rightfully so I mean it just annoys me how they bully him around was it wrong for him to go behind their back and talk to the client of course it was wrong for him to do that yeah it was very wrong for him to do that but I understand why he's doing it you know he wants to give his son options I mean look at them Gerber babies there ain't nothing wrong putting your child in an ad campaign that's going to make the kid money. Plenty of people out here are doing stuff like that. Make, you know, getting their kids into acting classes and stuff. You know, once Benelli grow up, if he wants to do stuff like that, then that would be his choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just wants to give his son different options. And I feel like lately, Jarrah has been stepping up, you know, taking taking care of his son and stuff. He has been stepping up to the plate. And I don't see what's wrong with what he's doing. He's just trying to take care of his son and show his son different things, you know, get his son into acting or ad campaigns. I don't see what the problem is. Like, they need to stop trying to control Jira. Like, it's getting really annoying at this point. So now Mazwi done took him off the damn uh, account and told him to get back to work. I'm like, they need to really stop trying to stop his shine. Like, stop it. Because it's just getting annoying at this point. Like, seriously. So now... Jera and Impo, they got a new problem that they're dealing with now because it's almost the end of the month and they got to pay their rent and they can't find Palesa. Um, So they've been calling Malinga, trying to find Detective Malinga, trying to find out where she is or whatever, if he has any new leads on where she is. But of course, Detective Malinga is not telling them that she was kidnapped because he feels like they need to play this close to the vest and keep it quiet. The less people that know, the better. Um, 
but they're just trying to figure out how they're going to pay their rent, where she is. You know what I mean? Like, they don't know. They feel like she just, you know, shacking up with some boyfriend. They don't even know that her boyfriend is Detective Malinga. They don't even know that. They think she's just shacking up with some mystery dude or whatever and leaving them high and dry with the rent. Um, I wish Detective Malinga would have just told them what was going on because even Detective James told him that. He was like, tell the kids what's going on. They're obviously worried about her. Like, he's not telling them. He's not telling her mom, Laredo, her sister. Like, you're not telling nobody what's going on because he feels like, oh, there's nothing that none of them can do. Okay, but they still need to know what the hell going on. You can't keep them in the dark about this. So he brought Cosmo in on it because he know Cosmo from the street. So he know Cosmo can, you know, call some old contacts or some current contacts to see what they know. Um, so now Detective Malinga done put up a reward of 400,000 Rand. And that's from his own bank account, his own savings that he saved up from all his undercover work over the years. So he put that on the line. Detective James was looking at him like, are you freaking crazy? You're going to use all your life savings as a reward to find this girl. But that goes to show how much he liked Palesa. Like, he really is in love with some Palesa. Like, he definitely trying to bring his boo back safe and sound. <laughs> I don't blame him. Because, um, you know, when you're in love, shit, you do whatever you can. You know what I mean? Like, he willing to put it all on the line to get her back. Because he saw the video of her bound and gagged and stuff. And they tried to trace it, but it was a quick video. Like, once you see it, it's disappeared and they can't trace it. Um, so now they're trying to figure out who took him, but of course he got his board of suspects, old suspects, but he know the top two are Jack Mabasso and of course, Kunkani, AKA Gaddafi. He knows that one of them took him and now he added Tal Mahali, um, to the, to the board as well. So Tal was now a suspect, even though detective James told him like, there's no way Tal was involved in this, but he not taking no chances, but he's sure he's a hundred percent sure it's either Mabasso or it's Gaddafi. He knows one of them. It got to be. And of course, it's Mabasso. <laughs> Mabasso took her and he's going to try to frame Gaddafi for it. Mabasso is smart as shit for this plan. I will say, do I think that it's going to work totally how he wants it to work? I don't think so, but it's a smart plan. Think about it. Two birds, one stone. You could possibly get rid of two enemies with one shot. You know, obviously he don't like Gaddafi. He clearly don't like Detective Malinga because Detective Malinga has been on his case for a hot minute. But what I don't understand about Mabasso is like, why is he, like, why don't you just let this go? Like, M Malinga's not even handling his criminal case anymore. But he feels like Malinga's always going to be a threat to him, you know, so I don't blame him on that. But still, it's like you taking this too far. So basically, he wanted the captain to break into Gaddafi's apartment and still, you know, something from Gaddafi to plant so that way he could steer Malinga into Gaddafi's direction as the kidnapper. So the captain broke into um, Gaddafi's house while he was gone and stole his watch. Before he could leave, of course, that's when Tao and Gaddafi came in and he, you know, he had to hide for a quick second until they went into the lounge or whatever in the house and then he snuck out with the watch. So now Mabasso wants to up the plan. He basically wants to send a message to uh, Malinga. So he got ca he got the captain to tell the goons to kind of rough up Palesa, you know, break some bones, make her bleed, show Malinga like they're not playing, like they're dead serious. So they sent Malinga a video of the goons beating up Palesa. I felt so bad for Palesa. They was all punching her in her stomach and stuff. I was I was like, oh, wow. I was so feeling bad for her. I was like, damn, she don't deserve that. Malinga better hurry up and save her. You running out of time, bro. Quickly running out of time. So anyway, that was pretty much the whole episode. I enjoyed this episode. It was good. Um, hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought. I will see y'all all later. Have a great day. Peace.